Welcome back, it's Veterans Day. It's a perfect day. day for a parade. What We're a great happy day. to be part, great day. part great of it. Great day. Paul Buca, Rosanna Scotto, Greg, Greg Kelly. Kelly. Thank nice you so job. much. Nice <laughs> job. Good job. Veteran, veteran. That's right. Medal of Honor winner, uh, recipient. recipient. I'm sorry. Thank you very I, I much. I got to get my. Uh, That's okay. Rosanna, don't give yourself a hard time. Quite frankly, uh, my nine year career, active duty in the military, I never met a live. Um, Medal of Honor recipient. The go. etiquette of the Medal of Honor is not something that comes up in daily uh, in <laughs> daily true. functioning of the military because it's so extraordinary. That's, well, th there's one thing that we can read that. Every Medal of Honor recipient says they live for the day where there will be no recipients that you can meet. Because that means we've stopped giving this medal, which means we finally found peace. And that's sort of the ultimate wish. Right now, we have young kids that are receiving it and they're alive and participating. And when they walk into a room, their contemporaries are in awe. It's special. Dakota, uh, Sal Ginta, and the others are just representing this war and their compatriots well. Well, we're meeting such very special people today, people with great stories, uh, what experience they have. They have amazing backgrounds. And then we have Mike Woods, <laughs> our <laughs> meteorologist. <Be> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, <laughs> just razzing you. Is it, uh, it going to get warmer, Mike? I just took a shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to give you a medal. Mike. All right. You know what? I deserve a medal just for making it up here from downtown. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day out here. But uh, I'll tell you what, uh, I'm out here. Now we've got, uh, you know, this is a man that we all are honoring and should honor. We have Sal Casano. Wait, 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 wait. And uh, I'll tell you what, you are something else. Now, now you were a veteran. Tell us when you served, what you did. I was uh, served in Vietnam from 1966 to 67. And and what are your memories like of your time served? Well, it's uh, memories of very difficult times. Uh, you know, 21 year old away from home for the first time. And uh, you know, but we stayed with each other. We had a, we had a good group that got us through that difficult year. Still keep in touch. Um, you know, camaraderie. Then I became a firefighter, and uh, we continue the same life. And 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 I got to tell you, you know, a lot of folks know you, and they appreciate the work that you do. And you do a lot of work with the veterans, you know, in the years in the years since. So uh, tell us what that's like. Sure. Well, uh, you know, we came home from Vietnam. We were sort of forgotten a little bit, and most of our Vietnam veterans have assured the uh, young men and women that come home now aren't forgotten. Wounded warriors and their families are taken care of. Because that's something that's very near and dear to your heart, the wounded warriors. Absolutely. Uh, the FDNY has embraced the wounded warriors. Uh, you know, after September 11th, so many of these young men and women joined because of what happened to the uh, fire department, the police department. And we owe a debt of gratitude to them. And we will make sure that they are not forgotten, their families aren't forgotten. And if there's anything they need, we're going to provide it to them. And they're always welcome. The FDNY is a big family. Always welcome. They can stop at any firehouse. They can come have a cup of coffee, have a meal with us. All right. And that's what we'll share. I may come and join you there yeah. as well. Well, thank you for your service and all that you do, Sal. Thank you, Mike. It's great to have okay. you out here. Pleasure to be here on a beautiful day yeah. honoring veterans. Exactly. And we got a lot more to come here as well. So, Greg Rosanna, do you respect at least Sal? Come on, Greg. Are you kidding me? me? Sal Mike. Casano <laughs> deserves our respect. And you deserve some respect for making this such a nice weather day. <laughs> Thank you very much. I do what I can. We got a lot of sunshine, a little bit of wind, but you're all cozy over there. We have heaters. It's all good. We have heaters. <laughs> Don't and let them know. Don't let them know. That. Thank you, Mike. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you, Commissioner, very much. Uh, you, we just saw the West Point band go by while the commissioner was talking. They are uh, they're magnificent. And by the way, West Point isn't that far from New York City. You can make it in a little less than an hour with no traffic. Correct. It is one of the most beautiful spots on earth. Paul Buca, I know you've spent a lot of time there. Uh, four years and then three years <laughs> teaching. It's a wonderful place, and kids come from all over the country. Men and women, river cities, country towns, and they come together and form the greatest academic school that we have for military people. Well, we're Spoken here to with bias. and proud to be with you today, and we're coming back with more of the New York City Veterans Day Parade. I'm Stan McChrystal, and I'd like to wish a happy Veterans Day to those of you who have worn or are wearing our nation's uniform, particularly those of you who are in harm's way today. You make us proud. I'd also like to thank you and your families for the courage and sacrifices that have helped keep us free. 